is a cirrhotic liver in which you are seeing the left lobe of the liver in a longitudinal section and uh, what I wish to make you know is that this area made 8.1 cm into 5.4 cm bounded anteriorly bounded anteriorly by a linear right echogenic area which is the ligamentum venosum and posteriorly by inferior vena cava is the segment one of the liver or the chordic lobe of the liver now this is uh, uh, it is the hyperplasia of the chordate lobe and this is not unusual finding in uh, cirrhotic liver, advanced stage cirrhotic liver. This is the liver. You can see the coarseness, eco brightness and the outer surface irregularity. So this is in the longitudinal view that you are seeing that the chordate lobe is uh, Hyperplasia. It's usually not uh, seen, but if you do come across with a quadrant group of this size, it will suggest hyperplasia. This is the transverse view of the left curve of the river. And this is the ligamentum venosum. This is inferior vena cava in transverse section. This is the quadrant globe of the river. This area again showing hyperplasia. And uh, in this uh, segment, you will also see that the corded lobe of the liver is involved in the cirrhotic process whereas usually it is uh, spared because it has its own uh, separate blood supply so you see that uh, there you don't see any difference between the echogenicity and texture the brightness coarseness of the corded lobe of the liver from that of the left lobe of the liver segment 2 and segment 3 here you see eco brightness and eco coarseness equaling the, that of the corded lobe of the liver. Yeah, but uh, the norm is that the corded lobe of the liver is spared in cirrhotic process usually because of its uh, own separate blood supply.